From Las Vegas, Nevada, this is Poker Night in America. Welcome to Poker Night in America. He's Joe Stapleton. I'm Chris Hansen. It's our last day in Vegas of the Twitch Celebrity Cash Game. And a little bit later on, Phil Locke and Dean Moon Girl Daniel Anderson take the highway to the danger zone. Nice one, Goose. But before that, can Antonio maintain his upswing, or is Daniel going to go back to eating his lunch? Spoiler alert, maybe. And it just might be another record-setting hand. Or you may have feet. So now that we know everyone, let's take a look at what they've got in front of them. And Antonio Esfandiari has $133,000 he played. Not as good as the 150000 he started with, but to be fair, he's been adding it 50 at a time, so he's got to be happy with the fact that he's still got a six-figure stack. Just a little bit of house cleaning to get to. Blinds are 25 and 50 a $200 anti-paid at the time of your big blind. And there is an optional $100. Dollar like straddle. Car things cards can do. So I'm like, what would that would be so cool. So you, I love that idea. Yeah. Wow. Right? It'd be neat. Please invite me for the Inception game. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, it'd be so fun. I might do the 40k thing, you know? <laughs> it's like so cool that idea. As Fondi Ari pumped it up to eleven hundred with Queen Nine. Flusher, you missed. Negranu you called. Like new river card, please. Elke raises to 4,000 yeah, with Ace King suited. How much do I have to pay you to stay? Okay, I'll pay. Nobody else. Get him, kid! I'll Get him, kid! I'll pay. I'll pay. I did good last time. Yeah, you did great. I lost the freaking thing. Like, <laughs> I, lost, yeah, I know, this, I know. He won't make the same straight as me this time. I hope. See, I didn't eat dinner, so that's another thing. I'm exactly even. I have $500 huh? in profit, so it's even. How so much do I, I have to pay you to stay? Team. I'll pay for your dinner, too. Whatever, we'll get you food. Where are you going, Jay Carver? Oh, I'm at, trying to pay him to stay at this Let him point. go. I like him. I want him to be here. It's fun. He's a better player than you, and he's what? not here. I don't care about the money. I'm here for the fun. <laughs> <laughs> He's not, really, he's not really getting active. Oh, back up. He's like, matter. okay, call, whatever. 3,500 is a bet and a quick call. The cutest. Kid, come on. I'm not going to go for it. Please. You got it. I'm check, check on the river. Oh, oh my God. Oh, sick. <laughs> I knew it was a great card for me. I'm like, I'm going to get, me. I'm gonna get value, no, but I'm like, I was going to bluff. Gonna bluff. Adios, Carve. It's been a pleasure, my friends. Wait, are you just... I'm Who's the 100? Oh, Where I are you going, anyway? What do you have? I'm going to go home, man. I'm going to eat. And that's it. Did you win money or lose money? I won. I actually lost because Dan paid me 2K, so I lost. Four, right? Huh? Dan paid you 2K, so you lost? All right, Jay Carver, I accept. Are you really going to do no, that? No, 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 not pay. I accept that. I accept the reality of the yeah, situation. Yeah, I accept the. I mean, I had such a good time. We played for 24 hours, basically. Yeah. More or less. Lots of playable One handshaping Baron, up here. Nine months, ten hours. And now we have this new thing we could be doing. This Baron. Randy. <laughs> Look at this. We gotta fine tune what? the title. Something Baron. Randy Lou, one of the players that stuck pretty deep at this table, and he's gonna climb his way out, hopefully with Ace Eight of Diamonds. Well, I'm allowed now. He's gonna need some help. This whole thing up here. <laughs> Look at this. I'm allowed. I'm allowed. Because I did the. I'm allowed. Yeah. Yep. I have the you rule. It's a re-raise. Look at this. Jason Carver. He I'm allowed because of the 12 times. I called and then it was raised behind. Yep. I'm, I'm allowed to do that. That's part of what we yes, said. That's part of the thing. I got no more money left. You got no more money left. Yeah, right. You got no more money left. Well, yeah, right. no, oh, no, I'm saying like comparatively to before. No, nothing, Daniel. You've got plenty of money it? left here at home in your sock drawer, in your box of Bellagio, in the pair of jeans you left in the no, back of the taxi. Like, no, Unbelievable. Like, He's always burning up your money. Huh? Here, <laughs> <laughs> I got like 30, 40. He's burning up your money all day with this move. He just can't help himself. Big blood. Squeeze. <laughs> can't tell you. Look at me. He's looking at my eyes. It's like so scary. He does it every hand. I'm going to do the Phil Lock hoodie. Personal space. Please observe it. It is pretty awkward when someone stares at you like that, though. I don't know how I would react. Maybe just pee a little. So Antonio knows Daniel's rep, and he knows he's not going to be four betting with hands that are worse than eights very often at all. About 35 behind, right? Mm -hmm. I think Antonio's looking this flip. 
Yes, he is, right. but he is not flipping. He has nice. dominated. Sure, two times. You paired yet? Yeah. Me too. <laughs> That's bad for you, huh? Yeah, that's <laughs> good for me. God, you're such okay. a box. Big pot. Daniel has what doubled up through big Antonio big twice all in, all so in. far since sitting down at this table, and it looks like it's going to be a third side. time. They're going to run it twice again. Well, we declared pair versus pair. We just don't know who's winning, but I'm, I'm winning. I think. Run out number one. That could, no, that's so this first run out's no, inconsequential because there are no eights left in the deck. Antonio is going to need a lot of help on run out number two. One for me, I'm pretty sure. If he turns over aces or kings, that'd be. We ought to do that. That's pretty rude if you turn. Okay, that's a good flop for me. And he is drawing dead. One hundred and six thousand dollars is the amount 20, of the pot. Thirty. Pot number one and pot number two of biggest ever one on Poker Night in America both go to Daniel Negreanu, and they both come courtesy of Antonio Espandiar. Four. Uh, As the evening grows dice. late here, players getting three, a little restless. Three six-sided dice. Here we go. Okay. So Don't play your hand. <laughs> He's lost it. What kind of game is he playing? Okay. So here's what's gonna happen. There's a yeah. first hand. Do the it. Dice Let's that's do the it. closest to the there's there's three normal dice, okay? And the average between three dice is uh, three and a half times four. Oh my god, Phil! I don't know a game. How do you do it? Get three cards. That's it. After Phil, the three. This is like unbearable. One. I'm stuck so much money, I gotta hear this guy. After knuckle this head. hand, we'll get three <laughs> random cards. For what seat a new player is getting. Like, is this really happening to me right now? I'm in the <laughs> twilight zone. <laughs> I love it. Have you ever met Phil? What's happening with the dice? 15. I didn't mean to okay, swear. Now, get three cards. Take three. This is it. King two seven. Okay, it's like this. That's the. You're two. slowing down the game. Do you realize that? Down. You're slowing down the game. I asked you not to slow two, down the game, Phil. Seven and king. Can you deal the that's hand, it. please? Two seven deal the king. Hand. Okay, king. pick one. Pick a card. Can you pick not one. use a card that's not in the in, two, in the seven, deck? King. The game hasn't slowed down at all. Let's go. There it is. So it's slowing it down. There's actually okay. Antonio arguing okay. about it. I think. You're in. See, that didn't take at any time. Did you slow down the game? No. You want to bet? I'll bet you every single person at the table says you slow down the game. Every single one. Jason Somerville is out. Scott Seaver is sitting down, and hopefully the break. Wasn't too long for Antonio Spondiari. We'll get back to the poker in a moment. I'm just saying, you slowed down the game. Did you not? For more from Poker Night, visit pokernight.com or find us on Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube, where you can see complete episodes and unedited live streams. Welcome back to Poker Night in America. It's the Twitch Celebrity Cash Game. The good news is, I'm not one of the celebrities. Let's get back to them. Thanks for coming back to Poker Night in America. Scott Siever is joining us in the four seat. And he is getting in this game late. I am not going to do it. That's all I'm saying. I only get Yes, yeah, No, don't do it. Yeah, Daniel, it gets too crazy. Well, you're don't one, do you're it. two, no. I'm four. Yeah, you're four. I'm four. Daniel, don't do it. You're four. Don't do it. Of course. Bullshit. I call bull. <laughs> Starts with 30K, and right now there is a discussion over how many people want to straddle. And numbers are up because we are running out of time here on Poker Night in America, so expect there to be plenty of action. The game is very big anyways, I think, Randy, right? What's the math on the average pot when you do 25, 50, 100 with 200 dead? <laughs> That's two, three, four. Wait. Spondiari makes it 1,600. You called, right? Correct. Okay, I'm going to see what comes. Three. 375. Oh. There's 375 in there people are attacking. You're talking about when it's 51? 25, 51? Yeah, when it's 25, let me just do it visually. 50, <laughs> one. So that's 375, right. Antis. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. A, that's, that's enough. Yeah. Scott Seaver flops top and bottom up against Antonio's top pair. I'd say this seat's working out really well for him. Boom. You are correct. Stapes, we're going to 7,100. Somehow he just knew Antonio's got something this time and not his usual air. And Antonio is drawing thinner than Kate Moss during Fashion Week. All in. All in. What did you say, Pastora? Oh, man. Oh, yeah, King Six Surya. He oh, makes the call. Limp. He okay. calls. Wow, we're going to see a winning hand here. One time. 
They're doing it one time. Vicky, this is fun, huh? <laughs> Antonio needs to hit a 10, a 4, or a 5, and no. Oh, Antonio. He is tilting He's like the artwork at Stevie Wonder's house. Well, I'm saying we're not saying we have to do it on TV. We could just do it. Like, have fun one day. and Like you guys ever hang out when you're not on TV. I think it's a great idea. Earth stoning poker. <laughs> this whole thing sounds like an idea someone would come up right. with when they're hearth stoned. Special powers. I love how excited he is about everything always. Yep. This is a real brilliant. Uh, oh, Daniel? Yeah, I, but I just mean in general. Yeah. Like, it gives me yeah. like hope and makes me like happier. Yeah. Like, look, just like how like I love loving life that, he is. He's like loving life. That 17 minute video he did at the TDA talking about FCOTD versus LCOTD. I didn't see I this. Love that, love that, Wait, love for that. real? I, yeah, I didn't hear about he, this. He lobbied for uh, last card. First card versus last deck. card? Yeah, and Matthew Waxman and Dan O'Neill. Antonio is probably well. not ditching Ace Queen on a board like this, not it, for one bet. There was a, some. I like the three seat and the six seat have been playing a lot of hands together help Daniel here on Poker Night in America. Names, people signing that they like them. So it's like a little Decent card for Randy on the turn, but he can't yeah, bet three streets with his hand, so he checks. Thing got shut down, or whatever. The, yeah. what you Antonio the hopeful for the river, which oh, no, does no, not no, come in for him. You know, eh. And Antonio loses another one, assuming he doesn't bluff raise Randy off his value bet. Yeah. I don't need to break the go back, but uh, Daniel O'Brien was German. Oh, well. <laughs> Antonio just lost two hands. We've only got two hands left to play. My guess is he kicks it into high gear. Don't miss any of it. I honestly think you have no clue what you're doing. <laughs> I really do. When you run like a luck box, you could play your way. When you run the way I run, we'll play my way. That's it. Hey there, it's Joe Stapleton and Chris Hansen. We're back on Poker Night in America with our Twitch Celebrity Cash Game. So you're down overall in this two days? Yeah. Wow, you're losing. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, I haven't learned how to play. <laughs> I'm not he played to win a, yet. two hands like an absolute genius. I, I've only heard one hand for like everything. There's like 2,000. One of them was 40, his queen eight hand. I heard his queen Did eight Did you hear hand. the king queen of clubs? No. Oh. Do three six with two clubs and he check raised to 40,000. That's for five, no? And eight for five. They saw because. That's like the, what he did to Brian Rast. Yeah, that one. Randy Lou up to 1,400 with 910 suited. There hasn't been a single hand that fills open that Randy is not three bet, by the way. It's nice. You notice. He doesn't need to know that, though. Scott doesn't need to know. Eh, Scott's a nice guy, he deserves it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the question probably everyone's thinking is, how do I get Antonio into every single hand before the end of the night? He has been the cash cow. My only wish is we could play longer in this dynamic because I feel like I would get protected from this phenomena by that phenomena, I mean, you know? He would make poker. Because eventually Randy would feel like, well, if I make it 14, Scott's gonna make it five. Seaver's new to the game tonight, but the seven deuce game is not new to him at all. He's playing it like a champ. Take that, Randy Lou. Lou's got a very good speculative hand, though. He's more than likely gonna call. I'm like up stuck. I still You have like 21 behind. I'm just really bad at counting here. If you could break that down. This this is a 20, so. So that's like 14. It's like 20 behind. I think Scott's got a really good chance at winning the seven deuce bonus. There it is, he got it. Gentlemen, pay me. Oh, God. Pay me. Immediately shows it. Says pay me like a real nice guy. Everyone, keep going. <laughs> Bad news is we're playing shorthanded, so you just missed out on like an extra $600. There. It ends on Randy's button the second Everyone's time. Everyone's tweeting like all the different for power possibilities. <laughs> yeah. so many issues. One, yeah. three, yeah. three, four, five, six, oh, I'm seven, sure you'll give some good ideas. Oh, yeah. The one was like flip position for you. You'd love this one. It's a small one. But like any time in the hand, you can just flip the position. So if you're out of position, you're like, no, let me have position. That's strong. <laughs> that's strong. It's a small one. That's yeah. much weaker <laughs> than the other ones. No, of course. No, it's it's really good. Well, that, that's like the most fun one I've heard. So yeah. Sure. That's the power level I want them all to be, actually. Sure, really. The others low. are too strong. Well, I've, I get like it. strong, yeah. but like still really cool. Yeah. Like that's like the perfect combo, I feel. 
You know, I pitched this idea to a big online poker company for real back in 2010, and nobody gave them money. I can't say which company, but it rides with poker ours. Well, basically, we got to come up with a way, when, when we do it, all that kind of stuff. Elky, Randy, and Scott. Randy dominated by Elky. We just come up with some fun cards. Scott pairs is four. Top pair for Lou, though. That's what I'm thinking. Checks around. Created the cash game show with those powers. Next level. People will love it. Like, especially if the audience at home knows what the powers are, we don't. And all of a sudden, they're like, oh, he's going to play his thing. He's going to trap him. I love it. Yeah, I, that's very cool. It's interesting on the next level. Scott's right? calling with bottom so pair. You could do both. You could have a, you know, either way. And as you guys have seen so far, Scott Seaver's right? the kind of guy that tries to win every blind, single you know, pot. You don't want a three bet, so you just call and then go. And there's going to be that guy that always holds back on all of his little. Yeah. Powers until everyone's depleted, and then he's gonna start us. Not the kind of hand that most of us would see as a bluff catcher, but my guess is we're gonna see him call here very infrequently. Yep, Scott Seaver not calling, not folding. He's raising. I love when internet wizards start battling. It's not really battling, you know. We're both just playing our cards, playing our hands. Yeah, but I wouldn't be in. Uh, of course you I, would. No matter what I have, I'm not doing anything. Sometimes of these you have to like fold in pre flop. Bluff raise. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you have to call, sometimes you have to fold. We're all just doing what yeah. we do. Nope. Phil Locke is the best at randomizing his decision. Phil Locke actually is it's the like one that so takes sick. things personally the most. Like he doesn't even know what he's going to do. Like we're just doing it's our like, thing here, you know? Right. Wow. Yeah, Gets Randy married. to lay down top. Who let Scott Seaver in this game? Yeah, seriously. We don't want to see the Good thing the show's almost over. And it is over. And Antonio, I don't know if he wants this night to end or if he wanted to keep on playing. He is down $95,000. Safe to say it's not been a good night for Antonio. The big winner tonight, Daniel Negreanu, taking home nearly $75,000 as a result of winning the two biggest hands ever seen on this show. Well, we're almost done in Las Vegas, but we have to show you a video of one more thing that we did while we were here. When we come back, we go sky high with D Moon Girl and Phil Locke. Closed captioning is brought to you as a public service by Poker Night in America. Welcome back to Poker Night in America. Chris Hansen, I feel the need. The, the need, need for speed. speed. Ugh. It's Poker Ace meets Sky Combat Ace. Three, two, one. As you can see, we're at my hangar here where I've started, I've picked up a new hobby. I now collect airplanes up. Oh, should we wait for that plane to... I don't know what I'm doing here. I guess they've wrangled me into some skydiving, air dog combat, some kind of finagling in the sky, laser tag thing. I'm sure that this is really safe, otherwise they wouldn't let us do it, but I don't know. The logical person in me is saying that this is insane. Phil and Danielle today are doing the ultimate aerobatic adrenaline rush. So what they're gonna go out there and do is aerial dogfighting. They're gonna each be in their own airplane. They're gonna be at the controls flying the plane, and we're gonna teach them how to hit the merge and do some crazy maneuvers to try to get behind their opponents so that they can shoot them down. Whenever they get them lined up in the sights, they're going to squeeze the trigger. They'll see smoke come out of their opponent's airplane, and we're going to be giving them advice on how to do it. But by the end, we're going to shut up, and we're going to just let them see what they've learned and let them go head to head and duke it out. As crazy as I think it is that I'm going to be controlling a plane, I think it's absolutely insane that y'all are putting Phil Locke behind a plane. Going to be going eight G's, going to be going through the aero barrel rolling, lumping back, loopers, or whatever they're called. I hope that these planes don't fire real bullets. Like in World War II where the thing's going and I hope that we don't crash. Everything is I'm willing to take the adrenaline ride because it's worth it. 100 miles an hour, how's that? <laughs> oh, oh, that's awesome! Oh, that was great! More of that, please! Oh, wow! Oh, wow, look at that thing off right there! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Are uh, you sure you want me on your left side? Yes, sir. I don't like it over there. I got the sun in my eyes. Oh! <laughs> oh, that was perfect. That was a perfect moment. We're going to go upside down. Here we go. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How you doing, Danielle? <laughs> We're coming for you. Nice. Go backwards. Pull, pull. I got a control. Good job. I don't know. Okay, tell me what I did wrong. I, you, uh, panicked. Yeah, I know that. 
Daniel, I trust me, that was all luck. I don't know what happened there. It was an accident. I'm sure I have no edge. Just letting you know that this is just random. I want you to go pull straight backwards this time, okay? Straight up like a loop. Three, two, one, pull. Yeah! Go high, go high, go high. There you go. Nice. Oh, one circle fight. Go get him. Pull. Pull harder. Harder. Yeah! <laughs> Tell me what you think she's shooting us. Uh, not yet, not yet. Uh -huh. She can't reach us. Shoot him. Nice shit, Danielle. Oh my god, that's crazy, oh my god. I was basically a spaz bucket, but she spaz bucket did more on the first I one. I so spaz bucket like, him. She did a nine on spaz bucket, I did a four, so I won the first one. I thought, oh, this is here, it just effortless. And then I was always the consistent four or nine in that and range. And then I was she, smooth. Then she was smooth. As a baby's bottom the next nailed two. Me, nailed me, nailed me. <laughs> Does defeat, does it feel the same 2,000 feet in the air as it does on ground, or does it taste a little it different? It actually, it feels floaty and beautiful 2,000 feet in the air on well, Earth. I'm glad on you enjoyed table. your defeat, because it felt floaty and beautiful to me <laughs> to defeat you as well. High five. Thank you. I'm so well proud. Oh, my gosh. Man, I've got to check that out next time I am in Vegas. That's almost exciting as the poker action we've had in this episode. Do you think that's as high as Phil Locke's ever been? That's all the time we've got from Vegas. Next time, we head to Turning Stone Resort in upstate New York for a friendly table full of friendly friends. Find us online at pokernight.com where you can see unedited live streams of our events and full episodes. He is Joe Stapleton. I'm Chris Hansen. We'll see you next time on Poker Night in America. My, my apartment could never be as clean as these airplanes. Like, you, you feel like, oh, you're gonna serve me some Cordon Bleu, whatever, put it on the plane. These planes are like immaculate.